All right, now that we've escaped the burning zombies, hello everybody and welcome back to Vervain's Arcadia SMP. I am D. I'm a fairly new gamer and this is my first time on a multiplayer server. I grabbed some moss to make a moss farm in our last episode and we will be making that today, but I noticed this on the map and there was this exposed lush cave um, in the area where we found our initial lush cave. And I was like, ooh, I can see like clay and drip leaf. And do I need to, I, I'm not sure if I need to like harvest those with shears or not, but we definitely need some of the small drip leaf. Um, and I was like, you know what? I need some clay for my building project for today. And I would find having some drip leaf really nice and useful. So we're just gonna hang out. I don't have a silk touch shovel. Don't judge me. Hello. Thank you. <gasps> There's an axolotl. Yes. What a cutie. Okay. How do I only have two water buckets on me? That's not cool. All right. Where'd you go, buddy? Skelly there. Hi. Hello, my little friend. Can I? <gasps> yes! Oh, yes. All right. I want the cute axolotl. Where did he go anyways? But I've got this spider after me. So do. And you. Thank you. Oh, that's a zombie villager. Those guys hurt. Oh, there's another yellow guy, too. Okay. Zombie guy is dead. I saw the brown one for a second. Hi, buddy. He's just in the he's in the dark area, and I don't want things to attack me. Hey, bud, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I saw you. Aha, aha, aha. Gosh, gosh. Come. Can I grab? Got him, got him, got him, got him. Okay, let's, let's hop away for a second. And back up to our little spot here. Okay. <gasps> is that a blue axolotl? Oh my gosh, it is. Um, I don't have wood to make a crafting table. That means I have to give up one of my axolotls. No, that's not. That's 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 not fair. Okay, we're gonna grab a little bit of wood real quick. Hi, buddy. You're coming with me. All right. My blue buddy goes in the treasure chest for now. Okay, so I was kind of wondering where I'm going to build my moss farm. And I think, I'm thinking right in here. So this is right above our dried up riverbed where we will make a squid farm at some point. Um, so that's all like close and within render distance of each other and it's a decent area to like actually build some things in. I'm going to make a lot of the area around here a black spruce forest. Um, this is not what the trees look like around where I grew up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that I'm going to clear out some things here and get my moss farm built and i'll see you guys on the other side of that all right well i've got just a couple of diamonds on me because i forgot that i need dispensers and i do not have any bows at all so we're just going to fly over past this crazy thing Oh my gosh, you guys, I did not realize that there were slime blocks here. I totally missed that the other day. And, uh, it's cheaper than what I bought the slime balls for. It's fine. Dispenser, a diamond for 16. Okay, perfect. Then I'll have a little extra. Ooh, six diamonds per shulker. That, that, that's a decent deal. I might come back for that. Okay, I hope I have enough rockets, but if not, I'll find an ice road and hop on it. I think on our way home, 
I am going to stop by our public blaze farm because I need blaze rods for many different things, including end rods, potions, and an ender chest. Okay, the blaze farm is down through here. So let's see how this goes. I am not well armed. Ah, but we do have regen. That's good. Crouch and walk onto the chest. Only go about halfway. They won't see you. You'll be able to reach them. Well, it's quite good to know that that's there. Wow. Skills. Add the blaze heads to the collection. Well, we now have an ender chest for our valuable goods. This just in, folks. We have a fully functioning moss farm. Just look at it. It is far from perfect. But it's my first functioning redstone design, so I am pretty stinking proud of that. I ran with some ideas from the Raiseworks design that I've used in the past, but I kind of like simplified the actual redstone part and generally just like compacted some things. I used less flowing water in general so that there's less lag. Let me go sleep. It uses a hopper clock over here, and um, the one major flaw here is that it does not automatically restock with bone meal, mostly because I didn't want to have, you know, a bubble column transporting items and uh, water bringing it over and just that whole system. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more low lag. We'll see if I add anything sort of system later to restock the the bone meal but for now i'm super happy with it um we do need to line the back with the glass still and i fired up some of our furnaces here benefits of using um furnaces as your immovable blocks i guess i do have um some pretty solid design ideas for the building that i'm going to build around this and i'm also going to uh, put a glow lichen farm in the same building somewhere, but um, for now, I am going to leave it going just so that we build up the bone meal because I need white dye for my next project and also for the building for around this. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little amount of time. So a few nights ago, I couldn't sleep, and I came in and just clear-cut this area. I have some very specific plans for it, but I need to grab just a few more things first. And unfortunately for me, my first stop is the nether. Wish me luck. I heckin' hate this place. Okay, okay. So we need to go east, which is that way. Oh, gosh. Guys, I have made a terrible mistake and mixed up my directions. Uh, back we go again. Other direction. I, uh, I feel like I should be able to fly, but I'm not confident in my flying skills. My elytra are good. I have plenty of rockets, and it's a short distance. But I'm still terrified! Alright, what's life without a little adventure, huh? I just need to make sure that I don't fly directly into lava and we should be okay, right? Right? Okay, I need to go directly south. Aha, here we are. Okay. And that's a basalt delta and we need to be fast and just grab things quickly. 
Fast is difficult in soul sand. All right. What direction do we go? North. That way. Aha! And here we are. Oh, guys, I'm shaking so bad. Okay, well, flying through the nether is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. So that's good to know. And I managed to grab a bunch of soul soil and a good amount of soul sand. So that's also good. Okay, we have one more thing that we need to do before we get going on our build project, and that is find another biome. But I am not seeing anything anywhere near me. So, um, I'm going to mend up my elytra here real quick. So I'm going to fly slightly northeast to warm areas that haven't been explored. I'm kind of thinking since I'm going to be spawning in new areas and that just always takes longer, I think I'm going to go ahead and go by foot and boat and, you know, explore the old fashioned way. I love the exploring part of Minecraft and I feel like I kind of just get into my area and then stay there. So it's good for me to get out in the world like this, right? That's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. But out this direction is our public guardian farm and I have been wanting to pay it a visit. It's not as far from me as it is for a lot of other people, so. <laughs> oh, very cool. So this is, I'm guessing, somewhat similar to the one that we built in my single player world. It looks like the kill chamber is probably in the nether. Well, we'll definitely have to um, do some more exploring with that one later, but. Let's head off in this direction. Why won't you come visit me at my area? I have been waiting for far too many days of playing for you to come visit again. You know, I'm loving these areas, but none of it is saying to me mangrove. That worked out well. But following the water should get us somewhere, right? We need to be on nine and actually this block here. Yep, nine and nine. All right, and then we go a dupe, and it's literally right there. Oh my goodness! Well, that was the fastest buried treasure I've ever found. Oh, I think I think a murder may have happened here. You know what I'm saying earlier about how I love exploring? I take it back. I love exploring up until a point. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Now, if we come down in here and there aren't any bears around, I think this is worth doing a little climb up to. Oh my gosh, it's like Shackleton's ship or something. No, no, this, 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 this exploring thing has no right to be this cool again. No, I'm done. I'm tired of exploring. I just want to go home. Why? This is so cool. How? Villages are weird, man. Okay, so the plan for this area is based off of another thing from my home in Alaska. Um, we are going to set up some hot springs and some geothermal farms. So this is where we're going to relocate our crops and we're going to set up some greenhouses here. We're going to have hot springs on the side of the hill right behind me. So in Alaska, one of the acquaintances that, um, I have from there is currently growing um, tea at a local hot springs. As far as I know, it's the first geothermal tea farming in the world, I wanna say. Um, 
but I was kind of inspired by that to go ahead and put our crops in a greenhouse that will be, you know, heated in the winter or whatever by, um, by geothermal heat. I thought about putting this build in a snowy biome, but um, I liked this lake here, and it's super close to, like, the entrance to our area, so that's gonna, like, I don't know. It's gonna be a good accessible spot that is also gonna look nice. I have three stacks of this white stained glass. Is that gonna be enough? I'm kind of thinking probably not. Not even close. <laughs> okay. Well, despite uh, a lot of glass being missing still, uh, I think this is looking really nice. I'm going to go grab crops, and then we'll talk about getting some more sand and smelting up some glass. Okay, I'm at the point where I need resources again. I try to be prepared, but I'm not very good at that. So, it is off to the desert with us. Uh, guys, I just realized I forgot a bit. Ah, my inventory is full of sand. That is a good place to be. There's this little tiny coral reef here. It's this little lake. It's very much surrounded by land in almost, in, in every direction, almost within sight from the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to make another advancement. Oh, fishums! Hello, little pretty. May has <gasps> Yes! Did you know that there are all sorts of different kinds of tropical fish? Like, thousands of different kinds. Well, that looks like a thunderstorm. And I'm now the only person on the server. Oh, that's a puffer fish. We're not going to go that but let's grab a you oh. oh that scared me that is a thunderstorm that's not great news I'm gonna have to fly to get home too it's thunderstorming and it's getting dark this is going to be an exciting flight home and those are I don't know how to fly out of the water guys I have not been able to figure that out. Is that even possible? I swear I've seen people do it. Okay, that was stressful, but we made it. Whew. Okay, this is what we're working with so far. I have our greenhouse all built up here. We've got our pumpkins and melons growing outside. And then when you walk inside, we've got spaces for our wheat and our potatoes and our carrots. And I'm going to put beets in between the carrots eventually. I'm not sure what to put back here behind the potatoes. I kind of wanted one more crop, or at least crop-looking thing. Otherwise, I might just fill it back up with potatoes, too. Or maybe some more wheat back there. Time for another adventure over the nether roof. This time, we're heading over to the garden guardian farm because I need a light block. This could be a grave mistake, but I'm going to try this portal, which is near the guardian farm, to see if that uh, gets us to the correct place for using it. Boop. Hello? Oh no, this is a pillager outpost. What? Oh gosh. Nope. Obviously that was someone's project. I think we're gonna head over to the shopping district. As I suspected, Wetworks, which is out this way, is the place we want to go for our sea lanterns. Oh, okay, this is cool, but, oh, and there's a conduit so we can, 
I love this. One stack of 48 for a diamond. Our diamonds are in here. So we'll put one there. This is a very creatively designed shop. I love this so much. Now I want to see if, yes, there are a few more, a few more rockets uh, available here. I think I'll be set on rockets for a little bit anyways, so that's a bit of peace of mind for me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exhibit to open here in our geothermal vacation area, specifically the axolotl exhibit. And for now, we're putting our yellow and brown axolotls in here. I'll bring the blue one over when I have more fish for breeding. Um, and breed that one up a little bit because I think that slightly increases the chances of getting another blue one. And now, oh, look at their cute little faces. <laughs> Love in the time of axolotls. What will we get? <gasps> a beautiful little yellow axolotl. Oh yes. Now we have a happy family. All right, there are many things being put together here, but I just wanted to add this little detail of fishes swimming under our pathway. So at the hot springs I grew up going to, we had a little, there, there was a little pathway and it ran over a bunch of little koi fish. And I really wanted to add a detail like that to this. So... I'm going to keep working, but that's a special one to me. Okay, guys, I've put so much work into this area, and I'm so excited to show you. And when I say so much work, I mean, like, probably 12 hours since I last really showed anything here. So when we come down from the camp area that I have set up, this is what we have for our greenhouse. And I'm going to put a little bit of a path through here, some exterior details on the greenhouse. But this is it. And we've got our bits of steam coming out of some of our water. Lots of crops in here. I've been harvesting them. Still need room for the beets, but we have a big old fan at the back of the greenhouse. All these things. I think it's looking really, really awesome and definitely gives me all the right vibes. If we come around the side and ignore my uh, camp out here, um, I have a berry patch and I made it in a circular pattern. And then of course, we have the real feature, the hot springs themselves. So when we come up along our path here, we of course have the axolotl enclosure that we made earlier, but then we also come out into all of our hot springs. So up here at the top, we start small and then um, we just have, you know, little, little clay pools bits of rock formations here and there. We've got a couple of bigger clay pools and a little bit of a rocky pool. We also have a waterfall over here. But if you come over the fish and hang a right, we have the big feature, and that is our rock pool. Um, so, this is very much based off of the hot springs that I grew up going to. This one is two blocks deep, so you could drown in it. But we have just a really gorgeous uh, rock pool. I feel like the texturing in the walls kind of turned out really awesome. But then we can also come up through here, and we've got a little shallow area and a bench and a lantern, and then we can swim in through this area and we emerge in a little cave. And I think this is awesome. I was planning to make a cave and then as I was digging, I literally dug out into this. 
So I think that was absolutely perfect. But this is such a nice place to just like sit and hang out. I've made lots of little outcroppings in the wall of this pool where you can come up and sit and chill and enjoy. I love that there's a snowy mountain in the background. It's not a huge mountain, but it's a very pretty snowy mountain nevertheless. But I think now I'm just gonna go and work on some more details. Uh, I did not expect this to take as long as it has, to be honest, but it's all been very much worth it. Okay, well things have been shaping up here. Um, we've got a bit of a pathway and some lighting. I also made a crack in the ground. Um, I don't know, thought it looked cool. There's just a number of extra details through this area now. Um, I built us a little outdoor shower area. Um, there are benches and rock piles and just all sorts of things around this area area and I really really love it doing a quick little flyover there it looks it looks awesome I think it I think I was able to integrate uh, these hot springs pools into the area really well I'm really proud of this I definitely have uh, next episode's project in mind already. We really need to do something about my storage problem. But for now, I'm going to take a moment to relax in the warm hot water here and take a break for a little bit. I will see you all in our next episode. Do give this a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys so much. The community that I've been experiencing from you guys lately has been amazing and means so much to me. Have a good one and I'll see you in our next one.